today we look at two mid-range processors that are on the market competing with each other and we will try to answer the question which one should you buy both processors today are 6 core and 12 threads first up is the 10400F coming in at £135 and the opponent is the Ryzen 1600AF coming in at £139 for our tests, we will be using the same graphics card, the ASUS ROG Strix RTX 2070 8GB overclock version with 16GB of RAM to make the test fair. The resolution is 1080p with all the tests run using the high preset. In our first game, Call of Duty Warzone, we see that the 10400F beats the 1600AF by 33 frames per second on average frame rates. Already the 10400F looks to be a great bang for the buck processor, giving more performance for around the same cost as the Ryzen 1600 AF. In our second test, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we see that the 10400F again beats the Ryzen chip here by 12 frames per second, which again is surprising. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is a more graphically demanding game so we expect to see little difference between the two processors here. The third game today is Fortnite, which saw a big gap at 17 frames per second difference. As this game is more CPU intensive, we, we would expect the Ryzen to come out on top, but the Intel chip is very efficient and looking great value. The downside is of course the expensive motherboard for the Intel chips, whereas you can get a cheap AM4 motherboard using the B450 chipset and that board would still perform great. We are using an expensive Z490 motherboard here, so you would need to spend the extra money on a better Intel board as the B460 chipset is not, just not good enough. The fourth game today is Division 2, which saw a small 10 frames per second difference, so again it's a more graphically demanding game so that the Ryzen closes the gap down and the difference between the two CPUs isn't so big. The fifth game today is Red Dead Redemption 2 which only saw 7 frames per second difference so again here the more graphically demanding the game is the more the Ryzen closes down the gap. The sixth game Rainbow Six Siege sees a massive 51 frames per second difference. The 10400F is really pulling away here and looking a great budget chip. The seventh game tested F1019 saw a massive 20 frames per second, the biggest difference in all our tests. At this point we can see that the 10400F is paired with a good Z490 board is certainly looking a better option as you'd also get support for the next generation of Intel chips using the Z490 motherboard so the extra money could be a good long term investment. The last game Borderlands 3 sees us again pull closer at only 6 frames per second difference as it's an older game we can see that both chips are more than capable of holding up. Overall I would say that the 10400F is the processor to get providing you can get a good deal on a Z490 motherboard. If you can find the Ryzen for nearer to £100 then I would say to get the Ryzen chip but at £140 it is hard to recommend this chip. If you like this video please like, comment and subscribe and thanks for watching.